Have we built the ultimate duck hutch? Our dimensions on this is four feet wide and eight feet long. And currently it very comfortably would hold 12 ducks. Of course, we lost two of our ducks and three of our chickens. And there is some room for more, especially with the roosting bar options at the top. And I can foresee that we could put comfortably another bar across to house three more hens. And they seem very comfortable. When we first got our ducks, we were looking for plans that basically suited them. And I was looking all over the internet and couldn't find anything. So I kind of took some bits and pieces from other plans and made our own. After six weeks of having our ducklings, we introduced them to this duck hutch. Now there are some pros and cons about this and we'll talk about it in this video. Our first thought was to build a permanent structure right here near the pond, however, it didn't fit into our permaculture plans because we would have had to add bedding into there, taking the bedding out. We want something where it's not gonna be cost for us. Now, another thing was we wanted to make sure we didn't make the same mistakes with the uh, Justin Rose Chickshaw of making a flooring where it was easy to clean out. Uh, so we did a one inch by one inch hardware cloth. Now, like I said, I, since it's not gonna be stationary, I wanted to be mobile. Since it's gonna be mobile, I needed to be light. So what I did was I took the two by fours and I ripped them in half and I used those as the studs. And with the flooring, instead of doing a plywood decking of the flooring, we did the hardware mesh flooring. So that way it allows the poop to fall through the flooring. We didn't have to do any bedding and we just move accordingly. Another way that we decrease the weight of the roof is instead of doing the plywood decking with some metal panels, we just added the vinyl panel so that way it'll be very, very light. And it allows light to penetrate so that that is something that they're getting as well. Correct. So what we did here is to make it mobile is we added the wheels similar to what we did with the Justin Rose Chickshaw and then I increased the height so that way the ducks are able to go up underneath there if they ever supposed to have been spotting a predator unlike what they did with the hawks and just run up right underneath there. Uh, I like that idea. However, the one drawback is something that we'll talk about later on. Now, one way we protect the ducks is a first line of defense is the perimeter to protect them against land predators. We use this Gallagher S10 uh, solarizer with their fencing. Uh, we basically put it all around the uh, pond area for them to free roam. Now that doesn't protect them from area predators. However, let's say a land predator gets past this and is trying to get into the coop. We added two personal doors, one for us and one for the ducks and the chickens. So that way only we can get in there since the, most predators don't have thumbs. And that allows us to free entry and the ducks to free entry and to uh, exit the coop. It also allows us to lock them in there to keep them safe. Now let's talk about functionality of this coop. Mrs. Nick Gardner got up a great idea we're adding this hardware cloth uh, near the top of this because I was just going to enclose this all in. This is going to allow the hot air to escape out of here along with during the cold seasons when they all huddle up, it allow the, the humidity to escape as well. Now, Mrs. Naked Gardner's favorite functionality of this coop is how easy it is to clean compared to the chick shawl. Like I said, we made a mistake with the chick shawl where we didn't, uh, we couldn't find the one by one hardware cloth on there. So I believe we just used the half inch by half inch. And it's just a pain because the turds of the chickens are huge. The ducks are even larger. So we made sure we find, found a place, I think it was Tractor Supply. Atwoods. Or Atwoods that we found the one inch by one inch and it just makes it spraying down their poop a lot easier. I spray it out in less than three minutes. Yes, so compared to the chickshaw, it takes her a while. Yeah, a good like 10 minutes on the chickshaw. Yeah, so 
Definitely get you some hardware cloth if you want to do something similar to this. Things that we are gonna change about this is with this being up high, uh, the ramp has to be a lot uh, further out uh, because the ducks aren't gonna be able to get up as steep as what the chickens would. We are gonna be making another duck hutch for just the ducks because we kind of turn, we're gonna be turning this one into a chicken coop uh, for the fact that- We have discovered now that we have them all together that the chickens absolutely love this. This is their daily hangout. They hang out over here. And when we brought Kevin and his girls in here and we put a roosting bar in there, we realized how easily we could add at least two more comfortable roosting bars. And it's a warmer area. The chickens don't like the cold like the ducks do. One thing I want to change about this is adding a uh, window on both sides of this coop and then adding another window just a basically operation that they allow more air to go out of it on the back side of the coop. The reason for that is when we're spraying out it's hard to get on one side and compared to the other side and it helps uh, better with the feeding and watering their uh, little buckets in here. So I want to put another window, probably like a three by three window area right here and the same to match the other one. Uh, now my objection is, is on the other end, like the other end, uh -huh. I, I just want another door. Well, it'd be a window slash door. So you okay. have, uh, you open it up and you have your hardware, uh, fabric hardware right there. Then you can have another door right there. It'll be completely open. Okay. So it's like, it's like a Dutch window type of Okay, so it's not a window. I mean, it is, it would be, <laughs> he just basically, you see, look at that. He, wow, he's underwater for a long time. I wasn't sure if ducks lay in a certain area or not. From what I've seen, a lot of people online and just reading about their ducks and geese will just lay eggs randomly. So I, that was one reason why we didn't put a nesting box. When we added Kevin and Whoopi and Sexy Black, I decided to add them a little exterior uh, nesting box right here, which now they are fighting over with. However, once we make this into a permanent chicken coop, we will in install nesting boxes on the back end of this. So that way a lot of them won't be fighting. And we're gonna be adding additional uh, roosting bars in here. We, only, we already have one roosting bar for Kevin and the two girls to stay up on top of and they love it. And I think that's one of one major issues with the Justin Rose chick shawl because there's no nesting or roosting bar. Just on the floor, those wood things, they don't seem satisfied with it. Yeah, and I've, I was reading online, if you have your roosting bar higher than your nesting bar, the hens won't go into the nesting boxes to be pooping and laying their eggs in. So you're, you're gonna increase your chances of having a cleaner egg. So that I think is gonna be a lot better uh, when we add the nesting boxes lower to here and add the nesting box or the roosting bars uh, more higher up on here. What do you think? Now, I don't want nesting boxes that they can get into at night because I find that the roosters go in and just poop wherever they want to at night. I want the nesting boxes to only be accessed when they come out during the day. So I could make it a nesting box exterior just on the outside of That's here. That's what I would prefer. Okay. We could try that out. Because I actually, I like this. I like this because I can grab the handle. I can move it. That's just a bar. This seems like something that we can change when we want to. Yeah. I, I, I actually wanted this to be an eight foot uh, longer uh, two by four, but this was all the leftover scrap that I had. So I just used what I had. Yeah, this is something that we just threw together, but it has turned out to be beautiful. And the girls actually fight over these boxes. Yeah. And with this, instead of using the metal panel, I uh, went with the T111 so, and it's a lot lighter than the metal panels that we, similar to what we did with the chick shawl and it's weatherproof. So this is a good functionality as well on here. What would you say you spent in materials for this build? <sighs> that one I didn't, I guess when we do another one, I will take a better track of cost of what it costs to make one of these, but I I believe it's a lot cheaper than the uh, chick shawl. I feel like we were kind of flying by the seat of our pants and just throwing ideas back and forth. Yeah, because most of all of this, besides the T111 and the, the uh, 
vinyl roofing was basically scrap wood and, and the wheels and the chicken door was basically all scrap. I think the had. chicken door was probably the most expensive piece. Yes. Yeah. And it's definitely something we have yeah. to have. Now the things that we were able to buy, like the chicken door and the wheels, we'll put those uh, links down in the description below. So those are some of the things that we're going to modify on the next bird coop for the ducks. Uh, we've been trying now to get them to come in side here about four, maybe six weeks now. They'll do good on some days and then there's those bad days. If you want to see those bad days, click on this video here and you'll see them.